Welcome to Lee Summit in the News. I'm your host, John Bedoin. Local development continues its upswing as several new projects have gone vertical in Lee Summit in recent weeks. Among them, the new price chopper at Todd George Marketplace is well underway, and several new stores in the strip mall continue their preparation for opening. John Knox Village is also seeing an uptick in new construction with the arrival of its Courtyard Neighborhood, which will bring 52 new units of housing to the area off Murray Road. Citizens wishing to be involved in local government committees have an easy way to show their interest. The Committee, Boards, and Commission's Interest Form is available online at cityofls.net for citizens to fill out and show their interest in being involved with one of the many mayoral appointed boards. Citizens wishing to serve can fill the online form and may be contacted once an opening on a particular board or committee comes open. For more information, call Lee Summit City Hall at 816-969-1000. And we'll be right back with more Lee Summit in the news. Did you know the City of Lee Summit has core values? One of our key core values is trustworthiness. To me, trustworthiness uh, has several values that go with that. Um, for me, dependability, um, reliability, honesty, uh, confidentiality, the community, um, and the people we interact with day in and day out. These are those same core values that um, we work to ensure that they have in us and creates that partnership with the community. Be on the lookout for these core values as you interact with city employees. We act Epic. Welcome back to Lee Summit in the News. I'm your host, John Bedoin. Three City of Lee Summit Public Works employees were recently recognized with Public Works Awards. Solid Waste Superintendent Chris Busson received the Professional Manager of the Year for Solid Waste. City Traffic Engineer Michael Park won the Professional Manager of the Year for Transportation, and Environmental Manager Kara Taylor won the Community Involvement Award. Chris Busson will also receive the APWA National Professional Manager of the Year Solid Waste Award in August at the 2015 International Public Works Congress and Exposition in Phoenix, Arizona. And finally today, District 1 City Council Member Diane Forte is the newest Mayor Pro Tem, elected by her peers at a recent council meeting. Annually, the council elects this individual from among its members. According to the City Charter, the Mayor Pro Tem assumes the powers and duties of the Mayor during the absence or disability of the Mayor, or if a vacancy occurs. Forte will be charged with appointing, with the advice and consent of the majority of the council, all council committees and council liaisons. That's it for this week. I'm John Bedoin and we'll see you next week on Lee Summit in the News.